in this video, we are going to be installing this little baby. This is a dual monitor KVM switch and it works on DisplayPort, not HDMI. And the reason I'm installing it is because at the moment, that computer over there is on dual monitor. But the one down there, that baby there, which is more powerful than that one over there, believe it or not, is running on that monitor. And I want that on dual monitor the same as that one and also I want to move that from there and put it up there so I'm going to be rearranging things over here and in the future I'm going to get a server uh, only a small one probably a small one and hopefully it will go under my desk so this will sit in the little server but for now it's either going to sit at the end of the desk or I'll velcro it and put it under the desk, if that makes sense, yeah? So in this video, to make it a little bit easier for you, I will put in chapters, so if there's any part of this video you want to skip or you want to re-watch, just have a look in the video description and there'll be little chapters for you. So with that, let's get on with it, shall we? Last part of the puzzle. I've been waiting for these, these turn up today, so uh, we're all set to finish it off. Yeah, I could have done without these, but I think these are make a nice little finish, or to the back anyway. You're not gonna see it, so I could have just left it like it is now, and you would think, oh, that's a really nice job. But 
I want you to try these out. I'm not going to, I'm going to use a sticky, this, double sided, but I'm only going to use probably half of it at a time because they say it's extremely sticky and uh, I just need half of it. So with that, let's go with it. Also, if you're enjoying this video, <laughs> I'm going to explain to you what issues at the end of the video I had with the switch because I did have some issues but I did sort them out and I'm going to tell you how I sorted them out in case you have the same problem
right, it's up and running, but I do have a couple of issues I need to sort out, and I'm just going to quickly go through them right now. My keyboard and mouse are not working in the keyboard and mouse USB connections. Don't ask me why, but I am going to try and sort it out, but I will have to do another video on that. And I do believe I can sort it out. If not, it might be my keyboard that's causing the problem, because it has two USB connections, plus a jack plug connection, and I believe the reason it has, well, I know why it's got two. One is for the pass-through, as a USB connection on the side, and the jack plug connections on the side, in case you want to plug in headphones. So I think that might be getting confused in the actual box itself. But I will try and experiment, and I will try and figure out how to get around that. But the keyboard and mouse do actually work, but some of the features do not work. And it does actually stay in the instructions you might have issues with keyboards and mouse like this you know with rgb lighting and stuff like that they do say in there there might be some issues but also in the manual there is a solution that i'm going to be trying i think it's called what's it called a pass through or something so it's more uh, compatible i believe that's what it said but i couldn't get it to work so what i'm going to be doing in another video is plugging in a different keyboard probably keep the same mouse and changing it over or changing the settings over I'm going to be doing that and showing you how I could do it so that if you decide you want to buy one of these you know how to do it just by watching my video so yeah very pleased with it it works extremely well I've turned the fans off at the moment or most of the fans because they're quite noisy so I'm just going to show you we're on that computer at the moment we're switching over to that PC Sound works on both, no issue with that whatsoever. I've got this audio equipment here, and that is plugged into there as well, and it's working fine. Like I said, no issue with that. So if I want to listen to audio on that one, I can. If I want to listen to audio from that one, I can. The speaker's all plugged into it as well. Like I said, no issues. That is the only downside. At the moment, keyboard and mouse is not working in the keyboard and mouse USB. Also, because I've got them two plugged into that I can't plug that in my Logitech so what I've done I've plugged that into that computer at the moment it's not a biggie but once I um or once I release them USB connections and put these in the correct place hopefully in the near future then I'll be able to plug that Logitech into the correct USB connection and that should work on both that will be part of the next video on this, on this setup, right? So let me know in the comments what you think, whether you like this video, whether you like the things I've done. I've still got a little bit more tidying up to do, which is basically clean out that, tidy that up, make it look more presentable, and uh, a little bit more cabling to do over the side. But overall, I'm happy with it. Let me know in the comments what you think. So with that, if you like my video, Give me a thumbs up if you didn't, give me a thumbs down, please subscribe, thank you very much for watching. I bet turn the fans back on now.